Okay, so today we're going to switch back over to the snowmobiles and we're going to do a little modification, a really cheap modification that I think some of you guys will be interested in. And uh, I've seen a lot of the mountain guys switching to a finger throttle. And uh, I decided to give it a try. I actually gave it a try last year. Yeah, I put finger throttle on my 151 phaser. And I actually liked it quite a bit. So now I finally got the parts to do this sled. And I have this little blue aluminum throttle handle. I think this is actually for a jet ski. This is off eBay. And uh, these work really good. They, the cable just goes right into it. Which is nice. The only problem is that it needs a little adapter for the cable to run through. And that is like 12 to 15 dollars. Just this little thing. So, in any case, let's get to it. First thing we gotta do, take the grip off, take this off. And I'll probably have to actually unbolt my handlebars to get um, this slid all the way off, depending on how much extra wire I left myself. Oh, nice. I actually used the connector instead of just straight connecting it to the, uh, like I did on the, I'm going to get a zip tie in there, like I did on the 151. Take your cable out of there. It just unhooks out of the out of the thumb lever. If you push it on farther, you can pull it out of where it hooks into. Push it towards the bar, and then push the lever down, and it should pop back through. Okay, so now we take this off. Keep it though. Don't immediately chuck it into a fire. And slide it in. Tighten it just yet. So we have the throttle cable to the phaser. It's just a factory one. There's this little end sheath on it, and that needs to go away. All right, so you've got the throttle cable. I disconnected it from the carbs, so it pulls out all the way. You take this little nut off of the adapter. Kind of force that slug through it. And then you put the little adapter on the cable and tighten it into the nut. Now I did take this adapter and I drilled the threads out of the middle so it fits right over top of the end of that cable. So then, take the plug, put it in the, the lever, put that through the handle, and thread that in. Now it's going to be all goofy because it's not actually in the carbs. You can take the grip, and it should just be a little bit before it. Put the grip back on, snug, and then I think right about there. Should be good. Now you might be wondering what we're gonna do with the kill the kill switch because we obviously don't have one now. 
So what I do, and this isn't the cleanest thing, but I will take the factory one and I will pop this little E-clip off here and I'll take the throttle lever off and I will just zip tie it somewhere up here to the to the handlebars somewhere. Uh, that's what I did on my other one, you barely notice it. Uh, until I find a good cheap just add on kill switch. Uh, that's what we're gonna do for now. So after that when you come in here you'll have to readjust your throttle cable and connect it back up. Um, how you readjust them, well those thread up and down, but just like the thumb throttles you want just a little bit of free play in it. And that's how I set it up. And that's how I do the finger throttle. So this whole kit, I mean this is under I think 40 bucks. It's a, it, I know it's under 50 and I think that's a really nice way to just test out if you like a finger throttle or not. I actually really like it. I, uh, I don't know why. I think it, it just feels like I have a better grip on the handlebar no matter where I am with the throttle. So that's I just like showing you guys little mods and you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to have fun with these things. You can do it pretty cheap. I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe some of you have been looking for a way to do this on your own sleds. I'll see you guys next time.